Okay, so just quickly, I'll change your plans with your assessment task. Rather than getting you to print all your work and getting it bound, what we'll do is on the last day, which is in two weeks' time, we'll actually spend the day in class and you can pick which photos you want to put in your, put for your final assessment. Um, and I'll bind one single book rather than you each doing one separately, okay? Um, I've had a lot of questions from people saying, what do I submit? Should I put this thing in? Should I put that in? If you come on the last day, you can just open up your pictures and say to me, you know, would, would this be appropriate to put in? But essentially, everything you do in my class is stuff you could submit if it's, you know, if it's something that you think is worth showing. Okay. Uh, so today's exercise is creating a silhouette collage. So we're taking a whole bunch of small silhouette images and creating a, a unique design. Um, so I'll start out in Photoshop. We'll, oh great. Okay, so I'm just going to do a Google search for cat. Then down the side here, I can tell Google that I want to search for black and white pictures. And this is the sort of thing we're looking for, images that are just silhouette. And what we're going to be doing is create a new document, uh, maybe A4, international paper, A4. And what I would advise is to start off with just some kind of interesting background. So I'll just do a search for search for paper. I'll go back to colour. And the other thing I can do here, and it's useful if you're going to use Google Images for something, is I can specify that I only want to search for large images, so high resolution. Um, so something like this would be a good, good place to start. Full size image. Just copy that. Okay, so now we go and get silhouette images, and you can you can use Google Images for this. Normally, I don't like you using Google Images, but for today's exercise, it's fine. Be aware, though, that um, although you're using, I mean, these images are potentially copyrighted. So what you need to do with them is not use them to such a significant extent that you're essentially pirating someone else's work. So um, when we go and start putting this together, I'll just grab this one. Um, well, you'll see in a tick uh, what, what happens if your image is a bit grey. OK, so I've pasted that in, turned my layers on. Now, it's a blending mode here. If I change the blending mode to multiply, the white background instantly disappears. Likewise, if I have an image that's black, like this one, This time I don't want to change my blending mode to multiply. I want to knock the black out, so I'll use one of these ones. And the screen's the common one. So everything you create should really be 
a white or a black sort of shape with no visible border. That's the aim. Um, as I say, as far as using Google Images goes, you can see how big these are on my page. So the idea is that we build up a whole bunch of pictures to create a unique design. So I don't want you going and saying, OK, I'll copy that. Yep. Look, I'm done. <laughs> right. So one thing I have asked is that um, partly to avoid you from doing that and partly because it, it stops you really thinking about the composition you're creating, but I've asked that nothing touches the edge of the screen like this. So the whole design sits inside the document and it just avoids what in the past when I've set this task, people have just sort of put layer upon layer upon layer and it, it, the end result's just a, a big mess. So the idea is to, to sort of use little tiny pieces to create the graphic you want. So if I wanted to, say I wanted to create a face, I might sort of use five or six different pictures to make the shape of an eye, for instance, and then maybe use six or seven to create the shape of the head and that sort of thing. So it's slowly, slowly, slowly building. Um, I'll show you this guy's work, if I can remember how to spell it. That's him. Okay, so you can see there potentially some of these images on their own would definitely be copyrighted, but when you're using using them in this collage-like fashion, we're certainly making it more our own work. Copyright's a grey area. People get in trouble for copyright for, for stealing very small amounts of work, and then other people get away with lots, so it's, you know, it's your call to make. Um, but that's the sort of thing that I'd like to see you doing today. You can experiment with colour pictures too. Yeah, so these are all different, little different graphics, all slowly built up. Um, so you can try with colour pictures as well, but you'll find silhouettes are easier to work with. And you can either get them off Google, or I've got the, the pens here today. If you want to draw black and white pictures and scan them in, you could go down that path as well. Right. How much time? Well, that's the only thing for today. So you can use, I've got some black and white pictures you can use, or you can use your own. So remember I asked you to take silhouette photos, you can use some of them if you want. Yeah, so that's it. So doesn't need No, well there are, yeah, there are some, I've got some black and white images, but I don't think you'd need to just tell him to grab his own. For sure. Um, I've got an example. I've got an example that's on T Drive. I'll show it to you and you can email it to me. Yeah. All right. Any questions?